tap in what must, was a must game for the Bullets. Earl Monroe, who has not had a good series, put the Bullets ahead two to nothing as seen on this tape supplied by ABC Sports. Earl the Pearl scored nine in a row at the start of the game as the Bullets took a nine to eight lead. But the Bucks came right back. Lou Alcindor scored 10 in the period. And Bob Dandridge added nine points to give the Bucks a 30 to 22 lead at the end of the first period. In the second quarter, the Bucks opened it up again. Alcindor, who has been the star of the series, made it 44 to 33. Greg Smith added another basket, and the Bucks had their biggest lead of the night. But Baltimore charged back. Kevin Lockery provided the spark that closed the margin of 54 to 46 at the half. In the third period, the Bucks once again opened up a 16-point margin, dominating both the offensive and defensive boards. Then it was Baltimore's turn as the Bullets closed to within two points, 70 to 68 on this Wes Unsel basket. Baltimore had to play catch-up ball again after the Bucks went ahead by 14 in the final period. Lockery made it 100 to 93 in the closing minutes. But Dandridge, who led both teams with 29 points, put the game out of reach. The final, Milwaukee 107, Baltimore 99.